Hello, I'm Sol Cross, and today we are going to talk about the new old world and how it may surprise us all. By now, you probably know that Games Workshop has dropped a few hints that the old world, blown up by the Age of Sigma, uh, will be coming back. So, today I have thought of three ways in which this new old world could surprise us all. Just to recap the hints that Games Workshop has shared with us. Number one, square bases are coming back. Number two, The return of the old world is in some way likened to the Horus heresy. Number three, they are saying the project will take quite a long time. They're expecting the studio to be at work for two or three years before we see any releases. So this is not a small project. The third hint that this is a big project um, is probably the most significant as it rules out the possibility that this is just a reprint of Warhammer Fantasy, 8th edition or 6th. Um, this really suggests that there'll be new models, new books, new factions possibly, uh, something more significant than just a reprint. Anyone expecting just Warhammer Fantasy Battles 9th edition may well be disappointed, as I expect Warhammer Old World to be considerably different. Uh, my first idea as to uh, how they may surprise us um, is probably the least likely and also the least surprising. Um, they could simply open up uh, new areas of the map of the Old World. They could open up the Darklands to development, um, but staying in the same time period. So we could get some new factions this way, uh, we could get Hobgoblins, we could get uh, perhaps even Cathay, uh, Ind, uh, and, and perhaps the Chaos Dwarfs could come back in some big way, because I believe they have a big kingdom um, out there in the Darklands somewhere. So possibly they could dream up some other um, factions as well. Um, I don't really want to dwell on the Darklands hypothesis because um, it's not that interesting, to be honest. And I do think the my other two ideas are of what they were up to are a lot more interesting and, and perhaps more likely even. Um, so the second one is um, they're not going to go back to they're going to go back to the old world. They're going to bring back the old world, but they're not going to go to the same time period. Um, and this is where the Horus Heresy hint might be a little bit, um, bit uh, telling in a, in a way, because um, um, because the, the Warhammer world, uh, it's a backstory to the Age of Sigma, in a way, but it. It isn't really because it came first and it was had thirty years of development and it's pretty well fleshed out. Whereas Horus Heresy was sort of invented after forty K. I mean it was a kind of a very vague backstory to forty K and, and then they went and fleshed it out with a a game later. Um so what the and, and I think so I think really forty K is more equivalent to Warhammer Fantasy. And before Age of Sigma, that's what it was. I mean, they were different universes in parallel in some sense. Um, and they both had their own backstories, um, which were developed as the as as the game was developed. Um, 40k acquired the Horus Heresy as it went along, so to speak. And Warhammer Fantasy acquired backstories too. One of them, um, of course, was the First, we might call it the first Age of Sigma. This is when the uh, human hero Sigmar Heldenhammer 
um, acquired, you might say, godly status by uniting the human tribes um, and fighting off chaos and greenskins and, green skins and whatnot. Uh, and, and this, this, these events, uh, the age, the first age of Sigma, we might call it, uh, actually precedes the 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 pre the the century of Warhammer Fantasy, which was around obviously the end times, uh, and I think on the time timeline of the Empire, the the calendar of the Empire, that's the twenty sixth century, and the Age of Sigmar is when that calendar started. So that's two and a half thousand, two and a half thousand years before. Um, the the sort of last age of the old world, which saw the end times. Uh, so that's a completely different period, and and in that, in that way, that to me is more like what the the Horus Heresy story is for forty k. The, the first age of Sigma is for the Warhammer universe we all know from the first eight editions of Warhammer Fantasy. Yeah, so uh, I'm seeing possibly that what they'll do with the Warhammer Old World is, is not go back to the same time period of Warhammer Fantasy as it was in the first eight editions. Instead, go back to um, Warhammer Fantasy's equivalent of the Horus Heresy, which was the first Age of Sigma. And this, in a way, ties ties together with their new game, Age of Sigma, of course, Um because um, it's it's his his beginnings, his beginnings before he was even a god, before you know, uh, before he had his Christ moment, became Jesus, the Jesus of the Warhammer world, became a god. Uh, <laughs> he he was um, an ordinary human hero, I suppose. In a way, he's he's the equivalent, what the fantasy equivalent of Big E, the the emperor, right? And um, so he's sort of the man who ascends to godhood. Right, and um, so I think that's what they'll probably do. And, and if they do that, that's quite that might be quite interesting or quite upsetting, possibly. And another thing it suggests, if it is going to be that close to being a fantasy Horus Heresy, is we may not see that many new factions. Um, because I mean, if you look at the Horus Heresy, it's 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 not like 40k so much. Um, it's more or less a straight up fight between chaos and humans. Uh, there aren't really other factions involved in it. It's more or less just a, a two way fight between chaos and humans. And the Age of Sigma for fantasy could be quite like that, because um, I think if I remember the story correctly, Sigma in unites the human tribes in a way like the Emperor's Great Crusade. Um, and then he fights off Chaos and he fights off Greenskins and not so many other factions I think were involved in that so there's, there may not be any Skaven or Elves or Dwarves, possibly Dwarves because I think, I think they were involved in the Age of Sigma the first one, a bit so yeah the, the Age of Sigma, the, the new Old World we're going to get um, at least to start with, might actually just be um, the sort of beginnings of the human empire, and um, greenskins. I guess will have to be involved, and another faction will have, of course, is chaos. Probably, possibly not full on chaos, like you know, um, demons and whatnot. Perhaps just chaos warriors and and beastmen, uh, and the other. Other thing, yeah, that'll be, probably be it. You know, um, that it'll, the first factions will be limited to that, sort of like the Horus Heresy, and and we it may never go beyond that. I mean, we, you know, it's not to say that the other uh, fantasy races didn't exist at that time, but if you're focusing on the story of Sigma, then you might just cut all that out. Yeah, and, and the Horus Heresy does that for. 40k it, it's really much about humans versus chaos right so that's what we might see with this new old world there might be quite a limited number of factions uh, the other thing is 
the other thing is, um, if we go back to the age of Sigma, the first age of Sigma, um, human that's the beginnings of the empire, the very beginnings of the empire. So uh, it won't the human faction, the empire will not be much at all like how we remember them from the Warhammer fantasy of the last eight editions, because. Um, I mean, in, in, the Empire faction at that point, as we remember it from from those editions, was pretty close to an industrial breakthrough. Right? They had steam tanks, they had repeating gunpowder weapons, um, even mechanical horses. You know, so they were very, they were probably the most technologically sophisticated faction. Um, sort of on the same level as the Skaven and the Dwarves, I'd say. You know, I mean, the, the Dwarves have got helicopters. Right, so um, that's pretty sophisticated. And Skaven have got all kinds of stuff. Um, but it's really those three factions are the most uh, obviously technological. I suppose in a way the elves are as well, but it's not obvious because it's all magic, right? Um, so that being the case, uh, in the Age of Sigma it was quite different. So it might be less Renaissance, more Dark Ages, you know? Um, so I think that, that could be quite a, quite a different... That quite a different thing. So that's my second surprising uh, speculation on what the Warhammer Old World will be uh, like. Um, third is possibly even more dramatic. I'm thinking that uh, there's a good chance they might not bring back the Old World uh, on the same scale 28 millimeter heroic. I think they might try something quite different. They might um, reboot the old world using uh, an epic scale, uh, something like well, 10 10 millimeter, like for example, Warmaster had. Uh, yeah, they might do that. Uh, and the reason for doing that is, you know, if they if they just bring back the old world, uh, you know, on the same scale, then all the old guard who they want to bring back to bring back to Games Workshop, uh, all the people who were annoyed when uh, the old world was blown up, um, you know, if they just bring back Warhammer Fantasy for them, then uh, you know a lot of these guys they they got all the models. So um, unless you're introducing new factions uh, or going to a different time period or changing the scale, you're not. You're not bringing them anything to them that they haven't already got. So that's the thing. Uh, if they're not going to go to a different time period, if they don't go to a different place and make a lot of new factions like the Darklands, uh, then I think a scale change is possible. And if you think about it, uh, Horus Heresy, you know, they've referenced the Horus Heresy. Um, it didn't just get uh, a 28 millimeter game. It also got Adeptus Titanicus, and that's an epic scale game. Right, so uh, they might might do that. Actually, you know, uh, I think that might surprise a few people, but I think they could do that. They could make uh, Warhammer the Old World a game more like Warmaster, uh, or rather the models for it being on that scale. And then, you know, all, all the old guard players, all those that miss the Old World, um, have got will have, you know whole array of new models to build about uh, to buy and build and and it's good not just from you know a uh, sales point of view but you know one of the criticisms of Warhammer Fantasy was uh, it was getting to be quite a big game you know uh, to play you were sort of encouraged to have well hundreds of models hundreds and on 20 20 millimeter scale fills up a table you know uh, and it's it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of models to carry around too right you know you need cases cases and cases and there's cost too and um, so one of the criticisms of Warhammer Fantasy um, was actually that it was getting to be too big a game and you need too many models to play and all this sort of thing uh, and when Age of Sigma came along it was at least supposed to be something like a skirmish game right I mean, I think it's getting big now, so what difference does it make? But, you know, it's supposed to lower the model count. You, sh you should be able to play it with pure models. I mean, 
technically you could have played one of the fantasy or field models, right? I mean, there's not like a, there's a lower limit on how many points you have to spend on your army. You could have 500 point armies if you wanted, you know? Um, uh, so yeah, Warhammer, Warhammer could, Warhammer Old World could come back on a different scale. You'd have to all buy new models. It might be a more appropriate scale, really, for a large game, you know, where we have big armies on the table. Uh, yeah, so they might do that. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, just to wrap up then. Uh, uh, one thing I think we can be fairly sure of is that Warhammer Old World will not be uh, Ninth Age, official Ninth Age. It will not be Warhammer Fantasy Battles Ninth Edition. It's going to be different. There's something going to be very different about it. Uh, it'll either be opening up a whole new world in the Darklands uh, with new factions, possibly, uh, or it'll go to a different time period in the Old World. So, most likely, the Age of Sigma, or the first Age of Sigma, when Sigma Heldenhammer first appears and creates the human empire. Um, or finally, I would say it's possible there'll be a dramatic change in scale. Uh, they might make it uh, a Warmaster type game on epic scale, something like 10 millimeter or possibly even smaller, uh, just to get you guys all buying new stuff. Uh, yeah, so those are my ideas. Uh, what I think, um, let me know in the comments if you anything to say about that or you know you think I'm wrong or maybe you've got some other ideas what they might do okay and that's uh that'll that'll wrap it up uh, cheerio bye one last thing um uh this rambling is is uh, more or less a restatement of of a blog post I made uh where I go into a bit more detail to exploring this stuff uh so if you're interested in that uh, if you check the description uh there's a link there to the blog article uh, and that'll be it i guess okay bye